Hi folks, my name is Jeff Rudd. I represent UnitedPeople.ie, but more importantly, non-politically, I represent the Irish Water Scam Information page, which can be found on Facebook. I hope you will drop by that and find in the files section, just up the top, uh, some information which you might find eye-opening and perhaps even shocking, all related to the water charge scam currently being tried on the nation. Anyway, for the last few days, especially from the Dennis O'Brien media of newspapers and radio, they are trying to espouse that Irish protesting is going on out there, that is causing riots, that is troublesome for Gardaí to the point of having them scared, and that ministers are saying that we're all somehow Republican related. All three is pure cobblers. I have nothing to do with any Republican movement, nor do I want to be. I have joined many protesters out there on a number of protesting groups and marches and on street sides and none of them have caused any trouble whatsoever. And as for the guard, he been scared and quaking in their boots uh, when they see women, children and even men uh, out there protesting. I can guarantee you, I can assure you, they are not afraid. This is guaranteed to have face down drug pushers, terrorists and many other much worse situations than what they're facing now as they're trying to protect Irish water workers going about doing their jobs. So what the Irish government and what the Dennis O'Brien media stable of newspapers is trying to expose is pure rubbish. Please take note that there is no video evidence out there of any writing whatsoever. There is no video or picture evidence out there of any Gardaí getting assaulted by anybody in particular during the course of their duties and when the water meters are going in. And there is no photographic evidence out there of any troubles anywhere around the country on any regular basis whatsoever. The photograph did appear on the front of the Irish Independent in the last day or two of writing that was going on it was actually coming from Brussels. but. They used it in connection with Irish water, but you weren't meant to supposed to notice the difference. It was supposedly writing that was happening in Ireland, at an Irish protest. Again, media lies. So, please, take it all with a pinch of salt. Now, the general elections are coming up shortly. They were supposed to happen in 2016, but I suspect, along with others, that they'll happen before then. If they do or it drags out till 2016 what you are likely to happen see now is a number of independents suddenly crop up from parties that people don't want to vote for anymore we already have had one defector from Fine Gael who is now supposedly saying he's with the people he's not but you're going to get more like that they are saying right now in the case of one Kevin Callan of Drada, that they are objecting to the way the water charges were brought in. That's fine, object to the way that the water charges brought in. But Mr Callan, please state for the record, if you object to the imposition of any water charges whatsoever, please state for the record if you wish Irish water to exist in its current form, if you wish it to exist at all, or if you reject the imposition of Irish water as a legal entity from the very start. Please do not just tell us you just object to the way the water charges that were brought in. That gives us the impression, maybe rightly, maybe wrongly, that you still support a charge of some description. If you do, you are not with the people. The people reject the water charges outright, they reject Irish water outright. Don't sit on the fence. Don't try to be cage with us. Tell us out straight. Do you reject the water charges blankly? Do you reject Irish water, the company, blankly? If the answer is yes, stay it. And do not pay the Irish water charge as it sounds like you are going to do. Now, to others out there that are thinking of going down the same road, the Irish population has never been more politically aware for a long time. So if you're going to carefully ward something, Word it with honesty, not with slyness and deceit. 
folks, if you read something in the newspapers, if you see something on the television, if you see a government minister spouting off again about Irish water and further bribes to try and get you into a contract, which you don't want to go into in the first place, take it all with a pinch of salt. They're trying to con you. Finally, the, na the last thing that they're trying to do in the last few days is trying to convince you to get Irish water into the constitution through a possible referendum. If you vote on Irish water to go into the referendum, you are legitimising it. You are saying we will allow Irish water to exist and if you allow Irish water to exist then you are giving them the right to impose further charges on you. Charges for what you are paying for already and for what the constitution says you own already. So please if they are going to push for a referendum, make sure that the wording of it excludes any private company whatsoever and ask for the referendum, if it happens, to just guarantee our natural resources, not a damn company. You are going to be tried to be tricked into legitimising a company that will further bring in charges that will increase further onwards. Do not fall for the bribes, do not fall for the wording examine everything trust nothing folks my name is jeff rudd till the next time please stay politically aware and keep listening and learning good night